Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you are doing great. I have got a couple of stories that are not great. We're going to go ahead and share the screen right now. It is Things are happening so fast. It is absolutely blowing my mind. Let's see here if we can share this. Here we go. We're going to start with uh, breaking news out of Japan. Former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo showing no vital signs after apparent assassination attempt. This just came out. I'm getting this out to you as soon as uh, I could possibly do it. According to Koyoto News, former Japanese Prime Minister Abe is reportedly showing no signs of life and has suffered from cardiac arrest after being taken to the hospital, according to police and fire officials. It shows right here um, uh, a, a tweet uh, from Nick Kapoor, uh, this seems to be a still image of the attacker, a middle-aged man aiming his shotgun at Abe, who is now in custody. Two shots were fired. The first seemed to miss. A man did not flee. He just squatted down and waited to be arrested as per NKH. Guys, we are seeing, and ladies, sorry, and just, you know, those are the only two that I know of, guys and ladies, men and women. Um, we are literally in the craziest time ever um, on the heels of Boris Johnson. I'm not going to get into all the news stories uh, quitting today, resigning as the United Kingdom's prime minister, as the government has essentially collapsed uh, the day before this happened, uh, a bunch of his cabinet members resigned. I mean, we are literally seeing the Georgia Guidestones <laughs> being destroyed, which quite frankly, I think God did it. But, um, uh, you know, everyone's got their different thoughts, but we are seeing a strange July. And some of you guys know what I'm talking about when I say this. Quite frankly, I believe that this month is going to be full of so many fireworks. And I want you to understand this um, as we continue on this month. I am still holding strong. I believe that we are going to see food riots in September. And uh, I want people to be prepared for it. If, if I'm completely wrong and nothing happens, then, hey, guess what? Um, check this out. Let's just just really quick. We got to use Google because the way they do their search algorithm is different than most others, even though I can't stand uh, uh, watching it. But look at this. Just a quick search, right? Opinion out of Maryland Matters. It's time for MD leaders, Maryland, to address food insecurity. There is so much happening right now. It says right here, food insecurity is a growing concern for most Marylanders, particularly for those in Prince George County, about 17% of Maryland's total food insecure population is concentrated in Prince George's County. With many of those people in minority communities, one in seven people are in the county are hurt by food insecurity. Now think about this. I know people are gonna probably laugh at the term food insecurity, but, um, uh, and I, you know what? What we're gonna do is in real time, I wanna just Google the, the uh, cause I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know what the, the term is. Let's do this. definition um what i mean is things are hitting us at a fever pitch guys we are seeing things happen so fast and here it goes right here food insecurity the state of being without reliable access to sufficient quantity of affordable nutritious food now think of this this is all over the news right now we are having crazy things happening just the fact that the uh the the tablets were destroyed the other day uh, the Georgia Guidestones. It brought out so much recognition for what that was and what it stood for, which is incredible. I'm super excited. But the next day, trending on Google, guys, was Stonehenge. And that's exciting too, because what people are doing is they're waking up to what's going on. And I want people to realize that this, I do not believe, is by accident. We are seeing around the world governments falling around the world things are happening so fast that i believe that you are going to see more of this where cabinets step down i wouldn't be surprised if you saw italy starting to to crack under this pressure 
the euro is collapsing. We're at a 20 year low right now to the dollar against the dollar. Everyone's like hailing the dollar as some superhero. And I'm telling you right now, when I say it's the best smelling turn in the punch bowl, I'm actually being sarcastic because it's the worst right now. The reason why is because it's held up by an illusion, the wizard of Oz. And right now the wizard is the federal reserve. I'm telling you, this is the time to prepare for you having food insecurity. This is not a joke. It's one thing to be super pumped and excited about all the opportunities we're going to have investing when things start to crash, right? This is a normal economic cycle, but it's a big one. It's another thing to actually go to your family and say, hey, I don't know where we're going to get our next meal because inflation is raging so fast and so hard. And my boss won't give me a raise so that I can go down to the store and buy the normal food. So we've got to get by just get by. And I don't want you guys to just get by. I want you guys to thrive because right now, anybody watching this video, and please guys, if you agree with me, hit the thumbs up button, wake the algorithm up. I'm in YouTube jail, just so you guys know. Uh, I did that video about food riots and uh, it had 370,000 views in three days. It was rocketing. And uh, and I got put into, into jail and the algorithm stopped sharing it. So I'm just letting you know, it's hard. It's hard to like stay on the sidelines, but I want to share with you guys the truth. And you're going to see more food insecurity. You're going to see more leaders fall. You're going to see more uh, government step down because they can't handle the pressure. Right now, uh, the Dutch farmers are, it is absolutely awesome. And just so you know, the ninja's Dutch. This right here is absolutely incredible, but it also comes dangerous. I mean, I heard there's already been some shootings, but the Dutch farmers are out there just crushing it right now. As a matter of fact, I'm going to include, a. will see if I can find the photo of the Dutch farmer that stole an aircraft and a uh, fighter jet. It looks like an older one from an, an Air Force base. And he started uh, cruising around town in protest. You know, the farmers are getting upset and they're going to continue to get upset. And right now you are seeing world governments collapsing under the weight of over governing their people. And what I don't want you guys to do is be part of the masses that wake up around September and start rioting. All right. I want people to be prepared and not scared because there's going to be almost like marching orders. We're going to, we're going to see opportunities. It's like, okay, let's do it. Remember guys, we are the financial firefighters where the financial realm has been built up and it's been deceiving people for years. Now we are turning the tides. We are going to run into the burning financial structures. We are going to put the fires out. We are going to rebuild the structures and we are going to be good, good, wealthy people to the world. We're going to help people. We're going to give them, instead of giving them a fish, we're going to teach them how to fish. Guys, we're going to be not only fishers of men, we are going to become the fishers of the world. Like this is going to be incredible. I can't, I can't say it enough. Uh, there's, there's no negative in this uh, story. There's no negative, but it, except for there's only positive except for the fact that i need you guys to focus on this right now and that that's get yourself some food all right um i think it is extremely important um i hope you guys have a great week thank you for all the people that are hitting the subscribe button and thank you so much i'm going to put a link to the my new facebook page please follow the facebook page and do me a big favor if you're on facebook let's use facebook to wreck facebook share these videos they'll be truth instead of sharing videos uh, pictures of the economic ninjas dinner nobody wants to see that we're going to share videos and truth to facebook and wake more people up so that this movement gets even bigger all right guys that being said i thank you so much for watching